Hi, I'm Jeff Halavy. As far as I'm concerned, any time that you can fit in fitness is the right time. But did you know that depending on the time of day that you exercise, your exercise routine should vary? Set your fitness alarm clock and get ready to clock in for a clockwise workout today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. You gotta live it. Welcome back to our around the clock workout. Today I am giving you the right fitness moves to do depending on the time of day that you work out, starting with the morning. So what gets us moving in the morning? Not just coffee, it's the right types of exercise. And here to help me jumpstart our fitness day is Gerald, welcome Gerald. Hey, it's good to have you on. So tell me your story. Uh, well, I wake up in the morning way too early. I am not a morning person. So I'm kind of groggy, but like it's the only time I can really work out. So it sounds like you're not the biggest fan of working out in the morning, but it's the only time that you can work out. Pretty much. Right? And do you usually feel strong, weak in the morning? Uh, dude, I'm so weak. I'm like lagging uh, long. It's like noon before I actually wake up. Okay. okay. It's really important, just in what you said right now, okay. to respect your body, to mm -hmm. understand, you know, that maybe morning is not the time to put the pedal to the metal. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to go through some exercises that are appropriate for the morning, not necessarily full-on intensity, but range of motion, helping you breathe and get your body moving. Um, um, and it's, it's a nice little companion piece to the cup of coffee that you have. In the Sounds morning, good. Okay. Sure. The first exercise we have, I'm going to have you stand um, okay. right here just for a moment. I'm going to step behind you. Sure. If you could go ahead and just lay down on your back. Like this? That's perfect. Okay. okay. And what I'm going to have you do is spring your legs up just like that. And let your, you can let your uh, heels hang gently. All okay. right. And what we're going to do is just a simple knee tuck. What I want you to do is curl the knees in. That's it, like just so? like that, okay? okay? And then bring it back down to relax. So let's bring that in again. There we go. And let's get one more rep in there. And you'll feel this in multiple places, including the right you know, right. your core, your yeah. obliques. And this is a nice little exercise, nice and slow, and remembering to breathe. You're holding your breath just a little bit right <laughs> now, all right? I know it's tough, but try to inhale and exhale. Okay, we want to just get the body moving. Now, to take this one step further, what you can do is actually let the feet hang out all the way. Now, go ahead and slowly curl in. Oh, I feel that. And back down. Okay, remember to breathe. You're holding <laughs> your breath. <laughs> you must breathe to live, all right? What I'm going to have you do now okay. is flip over. We're okay. still going to be right here. Okay, you're going to go ahead and lay on your back. Oh, I'm sorry, on your, okay. your other back, okay. known as your front. Uh, I want you to slide down just a little bit for me. Okay. Now, this next exercise is an excellent exercise for your posterior chain, for everything that's happening back here. Okay. okay. So, right now, your feet are relaxed. They're on the floor. And what I'd like you to do – I'm sorry. I confused you. Yep, mm -hmm. like that. I want you to keep your legs perfectly straight and raise them off of the floor by tensing your lower back and glutes. Go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and back right. down. That's a tough one. Try to keep the feet just a little closer together. Good all the way down to the ground after each rep. Now, the way that you can make this exercise harder is just by holding for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, at the top, and relax. Why don't you go ahead and pop it up for me? Okay. All right, you can see that one doesn't <laughs> yeah. seem, it's a little sneaky because uh. it doesn't seem like the world's hardest mm -hmm. exercise until you're doing it. And mm -hmm. then you see that it can be a little more challenging than you might think. You feel that already. I feel it right here, yeah. <laughs> Good. Next okay. thing is where you should feel it. The next thing okay. we're gonna do is come on over here towards okay. the wall, okay? And we're going to do, we've all done squats before. Mm -hmm. We're gonna actually take it a little easier in the morning. I don't wanna throw a bar on your back. I don't wanna go for a world record okay. squat, but I do want you to work that pattern through a full range of motion. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to set up so that the small of your back is on the ball. Okay, just mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Put your feet just a bit wider and turn them out, okay? Now from here, we're gonna fold the hands across the chest, okay. and I want you to just go ahead and let yourself descend all the way down, just like a child would, into a nice deep squat. Yeah, mm -hmm. there we go, and all the way back up. All okay, right. and remember, the entire idea too while you're doing this is to keep breathing. I can't stress enough how important oxygen is for you to, li for you to live, <laughs> okay? Take oxygen away, <laughs> you're not living.
This is like so much easier with the ball. I used to hate much easier these. with yeah. the ball. And remember to breathe the entire time. Now the nice part about using something like this yeah. is this Swiss ball, and I'm going to pull this away from you. I just don't want you mm -hmm. to fall backwards. The Swiss ball is something that. It's relatively inexpensive. Anybody can go and buy a Swiss ball yeah. at their local sports, you know, sporting goods store. Yeah. Or, I mean, now online, it's two clicks of a mouse, and you have mm -hmm. one of these guys delivered. It's a great tool to have at home, okay? okay. We're going to set this down just for a moment. Mm -hmm. And let's move over here. I want to give you another exercise that, again, now, mm -hmm. as you're becoming a pro, I want you to remember to breathe, okay? <sighs> breathing is important. <laughs> it's very important. And breathing actually wakes you up, oxygenating your blood. Okay. Taking in full breaths will wake you up. I don't want to necessarily just as good as, as coffee because I'm, say, just as good as coffee because I'm a little bit of an addict myself. Okay. But it does really infuse you with energy, okay? Yeah. So the uh, last exercise we're going to do is a chop. All right. Now, you may have heard of a chop before, and sometimes it's done with a cable or sometimes it's done with some type of weight. We're not going to use any weights. Okay. The idea okay. is to keep the intensity down just a bit. Okay. Okay. So from here, you're standing just fine. Okay. We're going to raise our hands above our head, just like we have an axe or something like that. The okay. first chop is going to be to the outside of our thigh. Okay. The next chop is going to be down in the middle. And the last chop is going to be to the left side. So it's going to be here, then here, then here. Okay? Okay. So I want you to breathe at the top of each one. Now, all right? <laughs> so let's bring it up and chop all the way down. Bring it all the way up. Chop through the middle. Remembering to breathe. I want mm -hmm. to hear you. And to the outside. That's it. Let's see a few more of those. Good. Now to the middle, good. To the outside, I'd like you to go through that one more time after this. Okay. That's it. All right. Feeling pretty good? I do, yeah. All right, good. good. Gerald, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. You're gonna stick around because okay. it's not necessarily just about what you do in the morning, but the rest of the day too, right? Absolutely. All right, thanks so much. Coming up next, our lunch break workout that helps you step away from the keyboard. And later on, we have fitness foods that will keep you energized for the entire day. That was really good. I Welcome back to our clockwise workout today, where I'm showing you the right fitness moves for morning, noon, and night. Now, lunchtime may be a time that you're pressed for time to work out, but it's also a time that your body is naturally peaking in strength, making it ideal to work out. We still have Gerald with us. Welcome okay. back, Gerald. Good, good job earlier. Okay. Now, Gerald, we spoke very briefly during the break, and in, you know, at the beginning of the show, you mentioned that you were a morning person, yeah. but you said if a workout was time efficient enough mm -hmm. that you might do something during the day. Yeah, I have a couple of minutes when I'm like ordering out my lunch where I'm in my office and I could probably do something. Okay, yeah. so it's got to be within your office, mm -hmm. and it's got to be time efficient. Absolutely. Okay, I think I can solve that problem. Okay. All right. What we're going to do is use uh, large body movements, so we're going to multitask your body, okay. right, if you will, <laughs> and we're also going to use interval training. So we're going to you know, work for a prescribed amount of time and then rest for a prescribed amount of time, mm -hmm. not so much worrying about the number of reps and sets that you ordinarily would think about when you exercise. Okay. The first move you're going to do is a burpee, which I know that you're familiar with, mm -hmm. and the burpee is really just going down into that plank position, coming back up, and then jumping at the top, jumping. okay? Okay. So why don't we take one slow. Let me just make sure I, I like your form here. Okay. Okay, so gently down, bring it in, and then a jump at the top. Good. I'm going to have you move just a little bit further forward. Okay. That way we don't rearrange the furniture behind <laughs> right. you, all right? Cool. And what we're going to do for our purposes today is go for 10 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we're going to repeat that just twice around. If you're doing this at home, you obviously will repeat it more than twice, but for our purposes right now, two times around, but I promise you'll be feeling it. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready? I'm ready. On your mark, get set, go. We got one in the can. Two in the can. That's it. That looks great. Keep it up. Three in the can. Four down. And you got time for one more. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
And we obviously want to make sure that we're on terra firma when we do these. So, you know, if you're on a carpet that can potentially move around, make sure that you obviously have it secured. Like Next glide. move. Right. Yeah. Next move that we have coming up okay. is going to be a uh, row with a squat. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is hold on to these handles, which we've looped around to the bottom of the desk. Okay, okay. Let's take a step forward right over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have you come right here is, is perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, this is not going to be a very... Heavyweight because we're doing this for a bout of intense exercise. It's not about, like I said before, the sets and reps. So the, what you're going to do first, we're mm -hmm. going to do it slowly, and then I'm going to let you do it for real. You're going to okay. set your feet a little wider, toes out slightly, I want you to, that's a little too much there, right? That's good. You look like a ballerina for a <laughs> second, all right? Not too turned out. I want you to go ahead down into a squat. Doesn't have to be a super deep one. Come back up and pull towards your hip. That's the exercise. So okay. drop into a squat, come back up. That's it. And it's important to remember when you squat to yeah. send your hips backwards, okay? <laughs> Don't make it in about, your, about your knee, make it about your bottom, okay? So okay. go ahead and push your bottom back and down. There you go. Now come back up and then row. So yeah. you're not going to row until you're standing back up. Okay? okay. You have 10 seconds on the clock. All right. Ready to go? Ready to go. Let's go. 10 seconds. Squat. Go. And row. That's, that's it. We've got one in the can. Let's see how many we can get. That's it. Keep it up. Good. And it's very important you're keeping your chest up the whole time. Just keep moving. And time. We're going to rest for 10 seconds, and then we're going to go through it again. All, all right? right? So this is how you're going to do it. You work hard. Get your heart rate up. Get your muscles working. Rest, and you're back up again. Let's go. Right. <laughs> That's it. 10 seconds is a very short rest. <laughs> Keep it going. Four in the can. Five. Six. Let's see if we can squeeze in one more. There you go. And Ooh. rest. All right? all right? That definitely will have you feeling it in just a matter yeah. of seconds. Okay? Between mm -hmm. the burpees and that, I'm pretty sure you probably feel a little something going on here. It's good. Pattern. Yeah. It means you're still alive. Okay. okay. If, you, if you didn't feel that, we might have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> now, the next move we're going to do, I'm just going to sneak around you for a second here. Okay. The next move that we're going to do is called a dumbbell jerk. Dumbbell. And that's, that's a dumbbell jerk, not dumbbell comedy. I'm not <laughs> calling you names. Get out of here. All right. Mm -hmm. This is uh, actually an Olympic lifting move that we're going to be doing with dumbbells instead. And what you're going to do is set up as if you would be shoulder pressing okay. or as if you would be reverse lunging, mm -hmm. except we're going to do both at the same time. So you're going to just drop right down into it. So it's going to look like this. And you're going to stand back up, alternating legs okay. on each rep. All right? Okay. Let's give it a try once yeah. and see how it looks. Start with them at shoulder height. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see how it looks. That's pretty good. All right? Mm -hmm. Stop for a moment. Ten seconds on the clock. Okay. We're going to give it a go. Absolutely. All right? You ready? Yep. And go. There we go. All the other leg. Remember, we're alternating. Now do two on the other side. Two on the other side because we're alternating. Good. Back to the other side. That's it. And rest. Good. Rest for 10 seconds. You can see how quickly when you're doing these types of movements, your heart rate gets up. And what's nice about this is we're working the legs. We're working the shoulders. We're working everything. Okay? Full body. Exactly. It's full body. Plus, you're getting your cardio in as well. Okay? okay. So go ahead. Let's just see it one more time. 10 seconds. Go ahead. That's it. Good. I think we have time for about another three. Let's go. Three, two. That's it. Woo. Pretty good. Yeah. Not, half, not half shabby at yeah. all. And True. you worked up a sweat. And I mean, what was that? A few minutes. Mm -hmm. You see how that works. All right. Yeah. Excellent work. Thank you so much for joining me, Gerald. Absolutely. I think you did a uh, great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Coming up next, we have fitness foods to fuel your day. That was very good. Welcome back to Workout From Within. Today we are talking clockwise fitness, how the time of day should dictate how you exercise and what you eat. I have joining me Abra Papa, a holistic nutritionist, and you're gonna share with us what we should be eating at different times of the day to maximize our health and fitness. That's right, absolutely. Welcome. Thanks, I'm happy to be here. So help me out. Sure. Let's start with the beginning of the day. Okay. I am gonna work out in the morning. What do I need to eat before I work out? Okay, the most important thing in the morning, 
to remember is that the first meal of the day is called breakfast, right? It's breaking the fast. Uh -huh. So we've been <laughs> fasting through the night. So please don't work out on an empty stomach. I have a lot of clients that come to me that have that habit right. of working out on an empty stomach. In the morning, you have been fasting, so you need some fuel to work out. Okay. Sure. So you can keep it quite simple. A banana with almond butter, one of my favorite choices. I choose almond butter over peanut butter because- Favorite choice because it's delicious? Well, yes, <laughs> of course, it must I be love, I love yes. the combination. But yes, but our, also yeah. because of the, the protein and the carbohydrates. So this is gonna give you the fuel that you need to get through a great workout. Mm. Now, it does depend on how vigorous of a workout it's going to be, certainly. But that's a great choice if you're going to do, let's say, just a 30 minute cardio exercise, okay. that will get you through. Cool. Okay, or you can do, you want a good combination of protein and carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Greek yogurt with some berries is a great choice, or one of my new favorites, You can do what the Aztec warriors did, which is eat chia seeds. Oh, I you thought you were going to say throw spears at each other. <laughs> that too, sure. Okay. So chia seeds are a superfood. Uh -huh. They're incredibly nutrient-dense, and they're fantastic for endurance. Cool. Okay, so you can just put a tablespoon in water, stir that up, drink it down, and have food in addition to the chia seeds. Okay. Chia seeds, right. not chia pets. Correct. However, that is what they use for chia pets. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, yes, so you can, yes. you can kind of have your you can have your pet, and you can have your nutrition in the same yeah. Yeah. all in all in one. <laughs> That's right. So okay. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so that's so we got breakfast covered off. Right. Now it's lunchtime. Okay. Okay. Yes. What are what are the things I need to consider at lunchtime? And I just want to preface this by saying that I know in my, my own personal experience, right. I'm pressed for time, you know, right. during lunch. Also, I dread that afternoon slump that everybody also has okay. too. So Talk to me. I'm going to work out at lunchtime. Okay. What am I doing pre, post? What are some of the other okay. factors? So keep in mind in the afternoon, at this point, hopefully you have been eating throughout mm -hmm. the day, right? Yeah. You've had a nice balanced breakfast. So you can work off of that reserve fuel from that food you've already had. Right. Okay, so it's a little different from breakfast where you've had nothing. Mm -hmm. So just to get into the workout, you can go simple again. You can have a piece of fruit, which is going to give you that fuel to get through the workout. Right. Do some almond butter again. That's going to give you that burst. Carrots and hummus is a great idea. Some bean dips for the complex carbohydrates, that will help get you through the workout. Mm -hmm. It's post that I'm most interested in. Okay. So if you are an afternoon worker outer. <laughs> or exerciser. Or exerciser, yeah, yeah. right, after that, that workout. For me, this is when I believe your metabolism is really fueled, mm -hmm. and we want to feed that. So I would love if you made this your big old meal of the day. Okay. okay? I so call how, this how big my, are we? So does it mean we're eating all three trees at once? I call this my ideal would be my Voss meal. So this okay. is my veggie, my orange fruit or veggie, and S is for salmon. I think okay. that's an excellent meal. So okay. you want your green leafy vegetables. That's like breath into your system, mm -hmm. right? That's how that helps us breathe. Yeah. A nice big plate of greens. The orange vegetables are going to help with that glycogen. Mm -hmm. We need to replenish that, right? right? We need to restore and replenish after a sure. workout. And then you want the protein. Mm -hmm. We need the protein to build the muscle. So I would love if afternoon is when you have that nice meal that's going to then help you give that, that stable energy for the rest right. of the day. It's really time to load up because as we both know, when you work out, you're breaking your body down. That's right. And unless you repair your body, you're not going to really get sustainable benefit from the exercise. So it's so That's important exactly that it. you really choose the right foods. And I mean, spinach is my favorite only because, you know, I grew up watching Popeye. <laughs> And we and all want, you, we all, you know, we down the spinach and <laughs> right. boom, we get, we get the big muscle. Yeah. Now, the other part of the day that a lot of people work out mm -hmm. is the evening. They yes. don't have any time in the morning. Mm -hmm. They don't have any time in the middle of the day. Right. And I mean, I know at my gym, we are so busy in the evening. Yeah. And very often people are confused because they hear all these things like, well, don't eat three hours before sleep right. and da, da, da. So right. what, what exactly should someone do if they must work out in the evening? How does their nutrition change? It's a great question. And I, and I just want to begin by saying this piece. I feel like we sometimes get trapped in this thought that, oh, if I have to work out at night, is it even worth it? The answer to that is yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You get it in whenever you can get it in. But the nutrition does change in the evening. It absolutely changes. So again, for the pre-workout, we have hopefully been eating well throughout the day, so right. you can work on that reserve we'll cross of fuel. Our fingers cross for most it, yes. people, yeah. Right, so the same sort of idea pre workout, a banana would totally do the trick. Post workout, with after a workout at dinner, here's what I would say. The most important piece to remember is you don't want to load up on starch after dinner, okay? okay. And here is why. During sleep, the first few hours of sleep is when we secrete HGH, Correct. human yep. growth hormone, right? And we want that to stay young and beautiful and to build muscles. Mm -hmm. 
Human growth hormone cannot be secreted if there's too much insulin in your system. Right. So if we're secreting insulin to break down the starches that we've eaten at dinner post-workout, we're setting ourselves up to not have the best benefit from our workout. Right, right. Okay, so that's a great opportunity, I say, for maybe a meal replacement in the form of a really nutrient-dense smoothie. Smoothies are nutrient delivery systems, right. I say, right? right? Right, With an excellent source of protein. If you're into whey protein, great source of branched-chain amino mm -hmm. acids, right? Or vegan sources of protein, right. throw some greens so in need, there. Right. So we need to restore, and it also sounds yes. to me like don't forget the hormonal component. Thank That's you it. so much. These uh, I'm getting hungry sitting here. <laughs> These are all excellent, excellent tips. Thanks, Thanks so much again. Coming up next, sleep tight by exercising light and meditating. We're working our way through the day with a fitness regimen, and now it's time for my favorite time of the day, bedtime. If you're going to work out at bedtime, you want to keep the intensity down. You don't want to rev. Yourself up right before you go to sleep. So my recommendation is lighter aerobic exercise. So think about 60, 70 percent of your heart rate max, or about half of your per total perceived effort. So a five out of ten on the intensity scale. The other thing that I'm a very big advocate of is transcendental meditation, or any type of meditation, really. The reason that I favor transcendental meditation is because it's so simple. Transcendental meditation originated in India from the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, and it's such a simple way to meditate. You simply repeat a mantra inside your mind, and that's it. You just keep doing that over and over for anywhere for 15 to 20 minutes. Lastly, if you want to put the two together, you can do as many Asian cultures do and do a meditative walk. And that means meditating so you can repeat a mantra as you do a very low intensity exercise like walking. No matter what time of day you make it happen, always make time for fitness and yourself. I'm Jeff Halaby. I'll see you next time on Workout From Within.